All right, so how has the pandemic changed your singing life these days? Well, it's given me a lot more time to practice, I'll tell you that. I love, <laughs> it's sad that the pandemic is happening right, right now, but I do like the fact that I have a lot of time to focus on my craft and record myself and just, you know, get all the kicks out of my performances. All right, now tell me about Kelly Clarkson. I mean, when, when you came on with the blinds, was, was Kelly going to be your first choice if she turned? My first choice was going to be John Legend, and then I felt like it was going to be Nick or then Kelly, but... Honestly, the connection that I have with Kelly upon actually being in the moment was completely different than I expected it to be in my head. Mm. So, um, when she turned around, it was like, I've always loved her music, and she talked about how she could improve my voice, and I felt like that was something that really stuck with me. I know she sang opera back in the day, I sang opera mm. in college, so that was another connection that we both made on the spot, and it was just like, you know what, let me, let me go with her, because I felt like she had a super di- a different connection than I expected. What has Kelly taught you that you didn't know about your singing? She told me to not be afraid of my own strength, and I thought that was something that was really that really stuck with me. In one of our rehearsals, she was like, "Just go for it, like, go for that big note. Like, don't use your falsetto. Like, use your bell in this note." And she's like, "Don't be afraid of your strength. Like, there's a lot of things that you know how to do with your voice. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid to use them." And I was just like, "Wow, I never thought about it that way." What is Kelly like in person? She's cool. She's super chill. She's the same way that you. See her on TV. She's pretty chill. Mm-hmm. So, so, really so she's the same person on camera as she is off camera. Yeah, she's really funny and super regular. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, why did you choose to to use the voice to further your career instead of American Idol or a different singing show? Um, my mentor actually had me audition for this show because I was I teach vocal lessons and I was giving um, one of my clients vocal lessons and she suggested that I do the show. So I was like, ah. Uh, I'll just try it because, you know, you never know with, with, the, with these kind of things, but I feel like God just had a plan through this this time. When I, I auditioned like seven years ago, so when mm. I did it this time, I feel like it was just in the plan for me to be on the show. Now, if things don't work out with Kelly Clarkson um, and being on her team, which is your second choice uh, who you hope would steal you? Definitely Nick. Nick? I've only been like alone with Kelly, but, you know, you still get a, a quick chance to speak with the coaches when you're on the stage and just listening to some of the feedback also mm. I did get a, a good substantial amount of time to bond with the other contestants on the show so just hearing what they say about Nick and just hearing like song choices that he picks for his team right. I definitely think that um, you know if there was a different direction that I would have to go in it would definitely be him because I do like the versatility that he shows in his artist on the show um, how much of the, of the other contestants do you get to see I mean, you can see the person before you and kind of hear the person after you. You're not, you're not like sitting in the audience being able to hear everybody. It's kind of like, you know, when you're filming, you get to see who's going on. You get to hear who's right before you, but it's not like mm. you have, you know, time to just explore. I got to really witness everyone's voice for the first time on TV like everybody else. So I think mm. that was like also really cool because you could get to know somebody and not even know what they really sound like until the show and like when you're meeting them you're not really thinking of that's your competition in the moment because we're all just trying to make it when it goes to live shows how much time do you have to dedicate to the voice during the week um all of it yeah you're you're yeah, you're there seven days schedule. taylor we wish you the best of luck on the show and in your career okay thank you so much